What's up? So, yeah. Figured I'd make a video today. I'm no longer in Dallas. Uh, glad to be gone from Dallas, actually. I don't know what it is about Dallas folk, but y'all do some driving out there, man. Uh, anyway, so yeah, not in Dallas anymore. In fact, I had one heck of a trip to where I am. Now, before I get to where I'm at, let me tell you about the trip. So, I picked up this guy to drop him off at home, which is a considerable amount of miles away from where I picked him up from in Dallas. Uh, the first thing that happened was, well, I picked him up. Okay, so I picked him up. He gets in the truck. We're riding. Everything's cool. Uh, we get lost. Uh, I didn't let him know that we were lost, but we were lost. <laughs> and I just happened to make it to a highway where I knew where I was. And yeah, and I just kind of made it work. Um, and so from there we're riding and everything's on up and up and we're rolling on along and then the tire the tire that I just picked up decided to blow out yeah so we had to blow out we were in Texas in the middle of nowhere still don't know where we were we, at I just know that we were in the middle of nowhere in the dark and yeah so I pulled out the tire that was messed up previously in the previous video it still had air in it. and I put that on there when we made it to Walmart then then we got to Walmart which was uh, in the next t town or county over nine miles away and uh, mind you, limping on a bent tire. The tire, the belt broke in the tire, and the tire is all messed up. So we were rolling on along and got there, and then there was no tire shops. So I started to put the tire on the rim the old fashioned way by hand with a couple of screwdrivers. But then we come up with a new problem that there was no way to beat it. Now, the tire, let's talk about the tire. The tire that I got, uh, well, I, I didn't have no money. There was no money uh, when I left. Uh, when I left from Dallas, I left with just enough money to make it to Phoenix after I dropped him off. Not thinking that any of the tires would blow out again, I thought that maybe I would be all right. But see, with me, you got to expect the unexpected because anything is possible. Even the things that you would think would be impossible are extremely possible, and it happens big time. So, I went to Walmart because this one guy wanted $50 just to mount. First, well, let's go back. So, a used tire should cost somewhere between 10 and 40 bucks, depending on where you're getting it from. We called a guy that was a roadside service guy in the middle of nowhere in Texas. He wanted $50 just to bead a tire. Now, this was before I bought the actual tire. This was just trying to find out information. What if I bought a tire? So then we called this other guy. This other guy said he wanted 80 bucks and then he had the nerve to call back. Well, I ain't laughed so hard in my life. I named one to two furry because obviously he's not real. And the other one, the other one, he's the Easter Bunny because they, they can't be for real. They're just not. Not when I can, that's just astronomical. So I went into Walmart with no real plan hoping that I could find a tire for like 40, 50 bucks. Went into Walmart 
and I bought the cheapest tire that they possibly had. And it cost me $37. Now, my original intent was to go into Walmart and buy a trailer tire. Now, the trailer tire would have held up fairly well. And honestly, I've done it before. And I mean, I don't recommend it, but in an emergency, if you don't have a way to get anything done, the trailer tire works just fine on the Ford Ranger or if you got that bolt pattern on just about any vehicle. Don't put it on the drive wheel. Just FYI. Because they, they don't have any kind of traction. Uh, that's the side of the point. I was going to put it on the drive wheel because I just didn't give a you know what. So anyway. Yeah. So I went in and bought the tire. And uh, I brought the tire outside. And I'm debating on mounting this tire on this rim with no way to air it up. And then I realized, I said, well, you know, we'll just wait until tomorrow. But then I looked to see how much money I had. I didn't have no money. In fact, I was broke. So, I, uh, <laughs> let's just say that I got some money somehow. <laughs> and, um, so this morning, I hadn't had no sleep. Like, I slept maybe an hour last night in the truck because uh, I had to wait for the service center to open at Walmart. And took it in there. They changed the tire and uh, fixed that problem. But I hadn't had no sleep. In fact, I still haven't had no sleep. And uh, If I'm not mistaken, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Western time, I guess, or whatever this is where I'm at and uh, yeah so not only did I end up with a new tire but I ended up with the wrong size tire because because I didn't have any intent on getting the right size tire because I was going to put it on the used Jeep wheel that I got the other night and the Jeep wheel is a inch bigger but I figured maybe if I used a smaller tire. And see, that actually worked. That actually worked. And so I'm just going to use it as a spare because eventually I'm going to get me a tire. Eventually. So that's what's going on behind me. I'm just saying, I can't see that. Well, there's a mountain back there somewhere and snow covered because it snowed real heavy here so anyway that was the tire situation i almost didn't make it to where i'm at now where i'm at let's talk about where i'm at and the trials and tribulations of going off road to avoid hitting things and sliding through the slush and getting rocks tossed at me by 18 wheelers and all of that all of that oh with no sleep mind you no sleep no nope. in fact i still haven't had no sleep so this video is probably going to be really entertaining or really boring and uh yeah we throw the combination of all of that in. and i've had a very interesting day unfortunately my phone is an idiot and I can't record long videos. So this will be pretty short, but just know that the tire ordeal, which actually, let me show you the tire. Now, I don't know if the old tire, if you can see that. <laughs> In fact, the old tire, was ripped to shreds and last night I had to go through hell to get the tire off of the truck but the guy that was rolling with me he's a pretty cool dude I put an ad on Craigslist saying that I was going west and could take anybody anywhere and drop them off on the way and it seems to work out pretty well most of the time but he was a pretty good dude he helped me out a lot and So, two flat tires, 80 bucks, 
and uh, no sleep later, I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico, about to go into Burger King and get me something to eat because I'm hungry and I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. And I think I'm going to do that. Dallas, Dallas, Texas. Let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, don't try to drive through Dallas. It's no, the, the people, I don't know what's wrong with them, but they're almost as bad as DC when it comes to driving. They just run you over and the speed limits are like crazy out there. I mean, on a residential street, the speed limit like 60 miles an hour or something crazy. I have never seen nothing like that in my life. Or at least what appears to be a residential street. Let's just say it was a small enough street to be somewhat concerned to be rolling through at 60 miles an hour. Um, anyway, yeah, so Dallas. Y'all yeah, can't drive, man. I mean, y'all drive fast, and I, I'm all for driving fast and everything. But, but y'all really, y'all just run each other off the road. Now, I don't know how there ain't, like, deadly accidents out there. It's, it's just crazy. Uh, but... I enjoyed Dallas other than y'all not being able to drive. Anyway. <laughs> I know I've just insulted quite a few people, but I don't care. I'm just telling them the way it is. Uh, oh, yeah. And I finally shaved and got most of the hair off my face, but then I decided maybe I'll keep some of it. <laughs> so maybe I'll hold on to some of it. Yeah, I kind of like having facial hair, especially when it's trimmed up nice. Anyway, um, oh Lord, and yeah, taking a shower the other night, man. I was in the Love's truck stop, and I was taking a nice hot shower, nice warm shower, just as comfortable as I could be, just glad to be clean. Man, if somebody flushed the toilet or something somewhere, and that water got cold, man, I screamed like a little punk, man. <laughs> this shit was cold. That water was, it was like I jumped in Niagara Falls, man. It was just, so the Love's Truck Stop in Dallas, Texas, if you decide to ever take a shower there, make sure you tell them or ask them that they make sure that there's hot water because I don't know if there's something wrong with the hot water heater. Uh, I don't know. Um, but it got hot again eventually, and after freezing my gonads off for about 15 minutes trying to take a cold shower, just so I could be clean. Yeah, I miss my RV. Life was so, so much easier when I had my RV. But anyway, I guess that's about it for now. I'm tired, and I'm rambling on, and I'm going to eat and go to sleep. And that's been the sum of what's been happening for the past two days. If you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, subscribe. If you like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, like the video. Why not? Alright, I guess that's it for now. I was going to try to show you some of the mountains over there, but my phone is just... Oh, wait a minute, is it working? Oh, it's working. Hold up. No, it's not working. Uh, I can't see that. Well, I tried. If you couldn't see it, then there's mountains with snow-covered tops over there that I really wanted to go off-road and drive up to the top of. But I get the feeling by the time I get to the top of the snow going to be too deep. And this isn't four-wheel drive, but it does have a locker. And that's really all I need. But... I ain't gonna take that chance with my luck, I get stuck. So anyway, phone's about to cut off. I'm hungry, I'm tired, and I'm rambling on, and I'm going to sleep. Good night, evening, morning, noon, whatever it is, wherever you are, whenever you get this, and yeah.